Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by and you like this program, please do not hesitate to subscribe and you turn on your notification bell. That is very, very important as it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. I present to you information about what is happening in the whole world. Nigerian, to be precise, you are free to leave your comment constructively after watching each of my video. Please do it judiciously. I appreciate all of you. It's not easy for you to leave whatever you are doing to watch my program. May God Almighty bless you because I do not have anything to give to you as we hop into today's video. Remain blessed. Nigeria knows what to do. Can I have a cry of yes for that? Does Nigeria know what to do? Yes. Amen. Or Nagode. You guys, you don't need anybody to tell you what to do. It's very simple. Number one, don't look to government and get rid of gasoline subsidies because they cost every Nigerian citizen more than they're worth. Number two, educate and empower every girl and every woman so that Nigeria sees her future with two eyes and can grab it with two arms and not one. Number three, probably power to the people. Put an electricity meter in every home and pay for what you get and tell the companies that you'll pay if they deliver. But Nigeria knows all that. And they know one other thing. Tonight and every night, every Nigerian is both a citizen and a subject. I thought that was strange because in the United States we're not. And then I remembered all those other monarchies around the world, including Britain, where the same is true. But there's a difference. In Nigeria, there is one government, but there are hundreds of sovereigns. So a great challenge for Nigeria, a great asset of Nigeria, is for all those who lead, from sultans and lamidus and shehus and emirs in the north, to obis and obas and kings here in the south, for all the leaders of Nigeria and all the subjects that they represent, to come together to make this nation one nation bound in freedom with peace and unity. And in this process, you can count on the United States, for we believe in your ideas and we profoundly believe in you. And we also believe that the world will be better if it's made with Nigeria and if, as tonight, John, here in your house, if it's a future made with America. Thank all. And uh, the question I want to ask is that the Biafra, which is always sound Bia and Fra, this is where some issues come about. Where does this connotation come from? And who are the people behind this Biafra? That is the first question I want to first ask before I ask other questions again. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. You, 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 you said you are sound south, so you accept the the tag of being from South South and Niger Delta, uh, two names that have no meaning. There is nowhere in this world, in any geography textbook, where you can see South South. Uh, there is a river called River Nile that runs into the Mediterranean Sea in Alexandria in Egypt. That place is called the Delta region of the Nile. The Mississippi River also has a Delta. So what I'm trying to get across to you, my dear brother, is that the name Delta has no meaning. It is, it is only a name answered by people who are not sure of who they are, people who are confused. And the Eastern nation is not a confused nation. If you say Eastern nation, I will listen to you. If you say a John nation, I would listen to you. But that um, uh, concoction of South South or Niger Delta doesn't work with me because only people who are not sure of who they are will answer Niger Delta or South South because South South doesn't exist. It was a mere concoction by Dr. Alex Ekweme, which they agreed to. So why don't you have North North? 
Where is West West or East East? You and I have more in common than a Fulani man and a Hausa man living in Sokoto. But I give it to you. You want to be alone. You want to divide. I, I concede. I'm a Democrat. I don't care where people want to stay. But coming to your question, the man that you should have that should have answered this question is or is an Asian man, Franco Pigo. And when he came up with the name Biafra, people were confused. But God did one thing that was miraculous. Ojuku did not argue with the name. The name came from an Ijo man, which means that Ijo wants Biafra more than anybody else. But I'll tell you where the name comes from, and I'll give you three names. And I want you to bear one thing in mind. I'm from a place called Afara. Afara. If you put B-I in front of it, which means come, it comes by Afara. Afra means the land of the people who we are joined together. If you go through your history books from the beginning, I, I restart, I went back to the beginning. I don't start from the middle. Where we are called Biafra, denoting our march through the Afar region of Ethiopia for the final wave that came. Those that settled around a place called Ethiop River. That's how the name came up. You have Ethiop River. Even in Delta State, the deepest river in West Africa is in the Nigel of Africa. Our name was first to be. People still talk about Portuguese. I said they don't know what they're talking about. Biafra. Biafra. And they shortened to Biafra. All the maps have all these names. And this Biafra used to be a kingdom. A kingdom under God. Almighty in heaven, not by man, by God in heaven. I, when I was preaching this afternoon, I said to you people that there are some things about Biafra that, that people don't know. The white man knows about you more than you know yourself. That is why the white man doesn't want Biafra to come. It means come and join. Biafra means come and join. That is our name, not given to us by the Portuguese. Because if you look at the history of Biafra, the first name was Biafra. Second name was Biafra. Some called it Biafra, yes. And then lastly, it was Biafra. Go and check it very well. And I will conclude by referring you to the to the scriptures, the Bible, where it was said that my daughters from across the rivers of Ethiopia will bring gifts to my temple. So says the Lord of hosts. And if you go to the map of, I think it was um, 1368, it is there. Beafa, the very first map, to recognize our sojourn through the Afa region of Ethiopia. And then the same God that we worship said, you will come from beyond. He did not say inside Ethiopia. They will come from beyond Ethiopia to come to worship. And that is the land of Biafra. Geographically, politically, spiritually, we know what we are talking about. There's only those who are blind in the spirit who cannot see it. And they've, I've led, uh, no wonder Facebook shut down my, my old um, um, account. You have go to, uh, it was laid out in black and white so they can see the journey is taken. Only, only, only a job people. We are educated enough to know what our name was. A job, the same place you come from. If your ancestors, your forefathers, uh, they are telling you you are from Biafra. How are you to say you are from Niger Delta? What is your proof? And I've already proven to you that Niger Delta, my dear brother, has no name. Niger means nigger, black, awful, absurd, ridiculous. In French, it's called Niger. In in um in um in Latin it's called nigger. You're telling me you're from nigger delta. That is very shameful indeed. Hi, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face, you are highly welcome. Let me comment to my next canal. My name is Linda Chukwezi. It's the red button that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the Bis zum nächsten video and einen schönen Tag. Tschüss. Tschüss. Bis mein <laughs> subscribe to Linda's TV show. What are you waiting for? Click on that red button that says subscribe. You turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Leave your comment down below and share this video with your friends, families, and colleagues until we meet again in my next video. Bye-bye.